Okay, so yeah, you guessed it. I'm making bread again. So what I do is I take three cups of flour, ordinary white flour, ordinary white flour, and some magic powder, which is ordinary baking powder, a little bit of salt, and then I add in some spices or herbs like, you know, oregano, some basil, some, well, a little bit of celery salt to go with the, the nice, beautiful uh, Himalayan crystal salts. That'll focus on that. And I put in some thyme and some marjoram and some parsley and some sage. Now I take this after I mix 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 it all up with water let it rest for about 10 minutes and I get my fat hot in the pan. I use bacon fat. You could use pork fat if you render the pork fat down Take out all the crispy bits and keep the fat. You can use that. Or you can use ordinary lard or whatever. You know, whatever you got. Oil, I guess, would work. I've used oil in the past. Okay, so I'm going to get this heating up. And I'm going to get this ready to go in there. Then the lid goes on it. And I'm making gourmet bush bread. Bon appétit. Yum, yum. Now I cook it in the pan with the lid on for about 10 minutes a side or until it's not so squishy in the center. How do you tell if it's squishy in the center? Poke, poke, poke. Yeah, that's still a bit squishy in the center. So I'm going to turn this again, leave it for another 5-6 minutes, and then it should be good. Mmm. Now for the remaining, I've turned it over, for the remaining time that's left for it cooking, I can leave the lid off now. And allow most of that moisture to escape, which I've been taking off repeatedly from uh, off the lid. It will go down to the bottom of the lid there and into the sink it goes, you know, so yeah, yeah, you know. Anyhow, this is my gourmet bush bread. We'll have a look at this in just a few minutes when it's done and I've got it plated up. And here it is. Voila, you see, it is done. It is done. It is beautiful. Yummy. Gourmet pan bread or bush bread, whatever you want to call it. It is one of my favorites. I just took it out of the pan. This has to cool some. Now when you cut this, you can cut it into pieces, you know. Right? And then slice them in half as well. And you can put peanut butter, jam, cheese, whatever you really like on it. Very good bread. I don't put any kind of sugar in it. So, it's not going to be too sweet. It's going to be beautiful. This is my favorite. I make my own bread here. It's so easy to make. It costs almost nothing. Now to go with this, I've got some ground beef thawing out. It's actually ground, no this is ground beef, yeah. Um, I got bison in the freezer. I was going to use it, but I'll use the ground beef. I'm going to make some tomato beef cheese pasta to go with this beautiful bread. That's going to be nominees.